everyone welcome back to my channel i know i have not been available for a while and that is because of my exams and my sister's wedding and a lot of other things that i had to get done uh and you know because I was you know getting done with my second year of medical school and now I'm in third year so there was this transition period that I had to settle in and that is because I was not making videos but now I'm done with all my basic sciences so I can jump right back into videos and help you guys as much as YouTube has helped me over the years so I'm trying to give something back to YouTube anyway so biochemistry let's let's just get right into it biochemistry was the hardest course of medical school for me personally in basic sciences i did not like it i hated biochemistry there was not a single day when i thought that biochemistry was fun in fact the only b i ever got in my entire medical school career so far was in biochemistry so i worked really hard on it uh, and i ended up scoring an a at the end uh, of my basic sciences but before that biochemistry was such a pain in the ass and I worked really hard and I used multiple resources so that I could figure biochemistry out so I hope that whatever I recommend today helps you and biochemistry is not such a pain uh, in the ass for you anymore so the, 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 the three things that I've said before that you need for any course is a good textbook a good review book and a good question book so the textbook is a book that normally your school recommends right but my school recommended Harper, but let's talk about Harper a little later. Let's talk about the textbook that I recommend and that I, I, I personally use the most. It is called Lippincott Illustrated Reviews of Biochemistry. Now, it is a South Asian edition, as you can see, and it is a seventh edition, right? Now, Lippincott is the best book for biochemistry for me. I loved it. It was very precise, very nicely written, and as it is illustrated review so it has all these little figures and illustrations for every single topic and these my friends are so so good that for last minute revisions and for like reviews that you really don't have to go back to the text you could just look at the figure and f you know just like figure the entire topic out by looking at this illustration this is just like you make notes but they have already given you these notes so i loved using this book and as you can see this book feels brand new because i have actually bought this book as i was done with my summers you know with my biochemistry course i returned all the books back to the library but i liked uh, lip and Cod so much that i decided to you know put some money into it and buy it so that i can use it later when i need it some some time in my future career but i highly recommend using this book for all these you know graphs and all also uh, every single chapter every single unit ends with questions so it is also a good question bank too like it has a good question bank too so you can use these questions and every answer comes with detailed explanations so you can use these questions to learn so it also acts as your question book and it ends with uh, all these clinical cases the entire book ends with all these clinical cases that you can use and learn for your board exams now it's not a board um, review book as such but it is a good good textbook to learn before you go into your dedicated study step time or board review time or whatever but it's just really good so this is why i recommend harp lippincott so much and it is one of the my widely used books at least here in south asia i don't know about other countries but in all the south asian countries it is actually very highly recommended right so Lip and God is the first textbook that I recommend. The second textbook is a textbook that my school told us to, you know, use. And that was Harper's textbook of medical biochemistry, which I liked it. I enjoyed Harper. It was not a bad textbook, you see. It was good. It was nicely written and all that. But if I had to choose between Harper and Lip and God, I would choose Lip and God. I liked Harper, but not... Uh, as much as I liked, liked Lippincott. I don't have Harper to show you guys because I returned it back to the library, so I'm very sorry for that. But you can just do a quick Google search and you will find it because Harper is pretty popular too. Now, if you're someone in South Asia, you might see this sort of small text or, I don't know, review book? I don't know what to call it. But you will find something like this, uh, uh, this book called Biochemistry by Satya Narayan if you are in South Asia and it is actually popular in here. Did I use it? Yeah, for a few topics, but I did not like it. I thought it was a very, um, 
what can I say, poorly written book. I mean, it's good for revisions and reviews. It's very small and precise, but not really for, you know, not a really good resource for learning material. I think for learning material and for hammering down concepts, you should, you should use something like Lippincott or Harper. But if you're in South Asia and if you want uh, another option or choice, you can sure check it out. It's a, it's from an Indian author. And it's, it's kind of like the brother of... Uh, something called Chatterjee, which is another biochemistry book written by an Indian author used in South Asia. And Chatterjee and Satyanarayana are quite similar. So yeah, people use them. Um, I don't recommend them. I started, I like, I did use them initially, but that is when I scored a B grade. So yeah, don't use them. <laughs> or do, I don't know. I don't recommend it. I'm just showing it you to you as an option. Um, maybe because in your university they are used. Okay, moving on to, so I'm done with the textbook. So the three textbooks that I talked about, actually, Lippincott is the one that I recommend. Harper is the other one that I use, and I don't mind other people using it. Uh, Satya Narayan and Chatterjee were a few books that I use in South Asia, but I don't really recommend them. Coming to the good review and question book, the BRS, Spy Chemistry, Molecular Biology, and Genetics. Now, let's 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 be real i there's i have not made a single video without prs in it because i think both review series or brs does a very good job um at this and i have talked about brs series before they have all the written stuff uh at, at, at front and all of them end with question with a good question bank and all these you can use these questions and you can really really learn good stuff from it so like there are board style questions and then it's, it's it's a good book it's a good review book now i kind of bought it at the very end of my um uh, biochemistry course and I and I regret it I I really wish I bought it you know initially in, in, the, in the very beginning of my journey like I bought BRS for other subjects because it is a really good book and the questions at the end of them are really good which I wasn't able to solve uh, because I bought it at such a you know prime time in which I you know I had no time to solve these questions but I'm going to solve them now in my summer vacations because I think that I'm still weak in biochemistry and a little bit more work in it would actually help me a lot um, in you know in the future in my board exams maybe now this is another book that I recommend, Kepler Medical USMLE Step 1 Lecture Notes. Now, I don't know how, will, how you will get this because all the Kaplan series uh, was handed down to me by a senior, uh, but you kind of have to buy the Kaplan, um, you know, videos and the books that come along with them. But so, you know, it's, it's a lot of money. But uh, for me, it was all handed down to me by a senior. So I really don't know how you'll get it, but it's a really nice book. It's a really nice review book. And you can't just read directly from it. You have to go through your textbook and all the other stuff before you dive into it. But it is a good, good book. And I uh, liked it so much and I use it too a lot now again I told you I don't know how you will guide like you guys will get it I got it for my seniors um, you can go to the Kaplan website subscribe to their you know videos and the videos I've heard are good so you can use them now let's talk about my notes the notes that I made and I how I worked for biochemistry okay, okay don't worry these are not all biochemistry notes uh, some of them are so let's let's just Oh, I found one. So this is a topic called lipid, tr lipid transport and storage, I guess. But let's 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 do a m much prettier topic. I'm I'm going to do the lipoprotein metabolism. Oh my god! Oh my god! My file is asking for help. So these are multiple notes that I made throughout my medical life. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, so let's just focus on chylomicron metabolism for a while. So this is how I made most of my biochemistry notes. I summarized everything that I studied in the form of figures. Lippincott does this for you. You see, Lippincott does most of it for you. But for the topics that I really wanted to hammer down, I decided to make my own charts and my own sort of you know notes and figures to hammer down those inf hammer down that information but lippincott but i got this idea from lippincott because i thought that the charts in lippincott really helped me so i decided to make uh, my own for some of the topics that i did and i thought was uh, were a little complicated 
Now, this is not a complicated topic, but I'm not that smart. So <laughs> it was a complicated one for me. And it has a, it, had a, it had a lot of information. So I thought that, uh, you know, summarizing it in this way really helped me remember a lot of information. So this was a chylomicron metabolism. Okay, and then uh, let's just do, yes. So this is, again, lipoprotein metabolism chapter. So this is the VLDL metabolism that I did. So as you can see, these figures, after making this figure, I did not really have to go back to my text on my nose. I just had to look at, look at this figure, and I could really easily um, answer any questions that came at me because I knew the mechanism uh, by drawing it so well that I was confident about it so this is like an ldl receptor diagram so as you can see i told you that i got the idea from lippincott and then i ended up making some for myself and uh if you guys want a pdf of it or something if you think this might help you let me know in the comments down below and uh, you never know i might upload one for you with all my notes which are a lot so let's uh but this is this let's talk about the metabolism topics so this is that's oh my god oh my god <laughs> somebody help this is one of the metabolisms right so the metabolism how i memorized all the metabolism was through making charts uh for example this right here so as you can see this is purine nucleotide degradation so I made a figure at the end and it kind of just explains the entire purine nucleotide metabolism in this just one figure so I really don't have to go back to the books as you can see you have your AMP which is converted to adenosine, the enzyme that is used uh, where the blockage takes place which drugs inhibits it uh, all this different stuff that is written in the text in like three to four pages I kind of uh, summarized it in one diagram and I just made little, little notes over here and there like this liver and heart is given in orange so this entire thing takes place in liver and heart and this the blue one takes place in the skeletal muscle the cycle so it's it just became easier for me to remember stuff when I started drawing it out rather than just reading it or you know writing it down like oh my god so AMP is converted into adenosine and that happens in liver and heart so this all these sentences were a lot of information but this on the other hand is much more neater and much more clearer and so I did this for almost everything that I studied you see so there's a purine degradation I also made a graph and chart of it and I ended up just memorizing these um, and that really really did help me right and the same goes for disorders I made sure that whatever disorder I was talking about it, that the most of the disorders uh, you know are related to chemical reactions so whatever disorder I was talking about whatever chemical reaction we were talking about I would just write that chemical reaction down and write about that disorder and make sure that I knew uh, the specific things that are diagnostic of the disorder or that are specific to that disorder and that really helped me hammer down the information so yeah this this is how i made notes of biochemistry now biosynthesis of fatty acids now this is also one of the hardest topics that you'll see and you can see that i have not written as much information as i sh you know i have just you know written the reactions over and over again and uh, made sure that I knew the enzymes like this, like so, you see? And then I added and did information that I thought was necessary to understand this. But this was the focus. The figures, the diagrams, and the charts are the focus of biochemistry. And I got this idea from Lippincott and I did it for all the topics that I thought were hard. Um, and I made like a bunch of notes that I review at the end of before my exams and they really, really helped me. So if you guys like these notes, I could put up a PDF of them if you want. And yeah, so this is how I studied biochemistry. And, you know, from being a B grade student, I ended up being an A plus. And I'm really actually proud of myself because biochemistry was so hard for me. Uh, there are specific channels that I recommend too. Uh, I will link a few of them down below, but the one that I recommend the most is called AK Lectures. Uh, it is AK Lectures, you know, the alphabet A, the alphabet K Lectures. And this dude is a savior. Like, 
stop my video stop watching my video and go watch him he is a savior he helped me so much in figuring out biochemistry that i cannot thank him enough i don't know who he is but you are amazing you are amazing so you should totally check him out and there are other, a couple of other uh, channels on youtube that i will link down below that you can use uh, that was pretty much it for biochem and I really hope this video was helpful. The next one that I'm going to upload is about pharmacology. So stay tuned and please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, all the best.